Hey guys, welcome back to day two of 100 here on the uh, Tech Insights with Dylan White. Yesterday we went on a deep dive of kind of who I am, where I've been on the journey. Today on day two, I'm gonna take you through a day in the life. Every day is a little different. I knew if I said I had this thing figured out. And 15 minutes ago, I kind of just take a nap, but you got four kids, the youngest of four, has a little bit of a mommy phase going on. It's the only way I can get any thoughts coherently done while taking around walks. So today we're gonna dive in on a uh, little day two of who is Dylan White, what is life like behind the scenes as a director of sales engineering, but also just husband, father of four. So let's get into it. All right, guys. So we're out here walking around the neighborhood. I live in a very cookie cutter HOA neighborhood outside Charlotte. And a little bit about me, right? I said it, we have four daughters, all under the age of seven. So my oldest, Aria, turns seven in a couple weeks, November. My second turns five a couple weeks after that, all in December. And then I have a two going on three year old in April. And then I have a newbie who's I'm walking right now and she is only three months. So to say we're busy, it's an understatement. My wife works hybrid for one of the largest manufacturing companies in the world. So we have a very busy, hectic schedule. The weekends usually consist of us having to get ready for the next week. And one of us doing, you know, a couple hours here for a side job or a couple hours just getting life ready. The girls always have a birthday or something to get into. So I don't want anybody to think that life is just, hey, we're here. Every day is easy. Every day is golden. But you know, a good find kind of, um, in my video yesterday, made a lot of sense of them, right? Treat every day like a gift. And uh, again, I could just went and took a nap and said, you know what? We're just gonna, gonna wake up and hopefully mommy's back and we just get it. But instead, you know, took 20 minutes out let's just see if we can't get the baby to sleep and make it a little bit easier on mom so today's a gift the gift of today is just that we keep getting to go through it um so every day i try to start my day with a little bit of planning and the reverse engineering my day um the night before i usually plan for the night ahead i'll look at the family calendar and then i'll look at the work calendar i'll write down my three tasks for each usually my three tasks for family have something to do with but of course the girls um, we also try to get an hour of just husband and wife time, just talking about the day that we had, the day coming up, whatever. We try to keep it kind of focused, make sure we at least have a moment with each other. And then we just plan, right? So we'll plan the date next day ahead, right? Do we have anything for the kids? Do we got gymnastics? Do we have swim? We're going to go take them and try to get them in a swim. Do we have any chores that need to get done? Do we have a birthday we can get ahead of? Gotta. And then for work, I'll usually look at my work calendar for the week. And for that, especially for that day, like, hey, is there anything I could bump from the days coming up that need to get done? Is there anything I left from today that needs to get done first thing in the morning? Um, and usually for me, that happens. All this planning usually happens around 9, 9.30. My wife and I, we try to have our hour between 9.30 to get the kids kind of into their whole state. For those parents that haven't figured out and have their kids down before 7, I don't know how you do it. Uh, my kids are pretty feral. So I'm lucky if they're down by 9, 9. 30. So if you got tricks, let me know. But of course, for us, we also love just getting to spend the time with our kids. So kind of the dual-edged sword. We don't really want to have them down at 7. Just something about it just doesn't feel right. Uh, only having two hours with them. Just integrate them in and hopefully they, they're happy. I think that's my goal. So outside of that and the work side, once I have the work calendar figured out for that next day, I can just start getting ready to sleep. Um, I try not to endless scroll. We usually end the day by just usually falling asleep to some show. I'm usually done lately is put on a Disney story on Alexa. If you are a parent out there and haven't heard of the Disney story app on Alexa, legendary. Lion Guard, look it up. That's my go-to when jam. So outside of that, once the next day rolls around, usually I try to try, emphasis on try, to get up 4.35 and try to get a little workout in. Let's see if I can't get back into that post the conferences. And then six o'clock on the dot, I try to be home so I can get my kids up, get them up at six, cause we gotta be out the door at seven to get them to school. Um, and so from seven, call 8.15, this kid drops it in the center line, push them home. I try to always make sure that if I'm home, I'm doing drop off and pickups. Uh, sometimes wife and I will split up which, who's doing what, but it's a good time just cause the kids are usually fun. They're usually excited to see you, I think. So outside of that, I get back home to the desk, you know, a couple shots of espresso and hit the work circuit. Try to see if maybe I got some text messages. Uh, some people on the team are up at 6 a.m. and he'll have started painting me. You know, some people are, we got work globally spread out team. So it just depends on the day who's hitting me up when. So I'll check teams. I'll check my Outlook email, see if I have anything that's pressing. 
I'll just get right into what I had for coming in, right? So if there's a, you know, a couple items I really want to get out the door, I'll try to hit those first before I go start going into the meetings for the day and planning. Um, so all that being said, usually by 10, 10 30, having the first meal, I keep it real protein heavy. Once that hits, right, usually around noon, nothing too much salt. Usually I try to have lots of electrolytes in the water a day, but God knows I don't stay up to it. So gotta get better at that. Sedentary life, we gotta do better about being healthy. Um, once about one o'clock hits, I'll start trying to ramp up my day. Don't have any, any calls going into the two, because usually I'll go pick up the kids from 2.30. Usually we're home by about 3.30, 4 for lucky. Again, my kids go to a charter school, so there's no buses. We're grinding it out and pickup line. I ain't gonna lie. Pickup line is not for the weak heart. Um, so usually I'll try to set up a side business call during that time, or I'll set up, if I have to, I'll take customer calls for the day job. Just depends on um, what we're doing for the day. Um, but usually some type of call where I try not to take anything customer facing because usually if I, if I have to, I'll do internal call um, just because customer facing calls can tend to go off script. And that's really in your car with screaming kids in the background isn't really the way. Really, well, those that know, I always mention, hey, my kids are in the car. I usually will point to them because my kids are my everything. Uh, they can call with the wife in the car. Just it's awkward. It's not recommended that you do customer calls in the car. Um, so once that happens, usually around four, back at the desk for another customer call. Then usually wrapping up at the desk around five, five fifteen for the daily call. And kind of just planning what the next day looks like. like. Do I need anything that's urgent, hot? Anybody need my attention? Checking Teams and Outlook, things and, and prepping for the next day. More fortunately, for my job, I travel a lot. And we do in front right now is to do one day a month where we actually meet in person and get through a lot of our planning. It's really hard to plan for anything ahead, just being reactive to everything. It's really hard to be proactive if you're not proactive about being proactive. And I know that's a bar, so hopefully you guys got through it. <laughs> so for us, we like to meet in person and talk through the big issues we have planning for 25. And we're super excited about it. So um, for us, it gets the chance to not only see each other, but we also get to plan. We get to whiteboard things out. Hey, yeah, that idea ain't going to work. Or that idea is really good. Let's dive deeper on that one. Um, it's just really good as a team to really be invested with each other. It really is that time investment. And there's nothing like being next to each other and actually being able to physically get up to the whiteboard and just like, hey, let's talk through this. Uh, let's point it out. So we do that about once a month. And then between that, I've been, conference season has fully in swing. So we've been doing a lot of conferences. Um, unfortunately, for those of you that are going to Microsoft, I'll not be there. But again, I think that just goes to, uh, it's all in God's plan. I think that was, it was a good decision for us, just not this year. We'll definitely be there next year. But as a company, I think we just need to make sure that we really hit 2025 off to a really good start. So for us, it's really important to all be together and get there. So with all that being said, I kind of wanted to hop on here and talk to you guys just about daily life. I think a lot of us just think that the more you go up in, in the scale, the more you got together, that's not always the case. Sometimes you just really are figuring it out day by day, minute by minute. Um, again, today was another one of those where you're like, man, I could really I just pack it in and take a nap. Or you know what? Let's go see the sun. Let's go get some vitamin D. Let's go live, live a little bit, right? Let's get the baby out for a nap. Everyone's a little busy, I think, as husbands as good partners even just if you're just living your work life and just just figuring out this adult thing step outside take a walk enjoy the sun it's beautiful out fall weather bonfire weather so again hopefully you guys are just enjoy the journey with me every day again is a gift yesterday is history tomorrow is a mystery today i enjoyed being with each and one every one of you so see you guys tomorrow